It sure was nice to get out and travel again. Yeah, but even with these discounted tickets, I can't believe how expensive this cruise was. Huh, discount is right. What were we thinking? You know, the Jones Act makes the shipping industry way more expensive than it needs to be. Ugh, why now? About a hundred years ago, American shipbuilders, who were thought to be among the best in the world, started to lose business to foreign competition. They got mad, so they did what a lot of big industries do when they face competitive pressure. Made better stuff? Lowered their prices? Close, but no. They went to the government for protection, and pushed through a law that mandated that anything shipped from one part of the U.S. to another had to be carried by a U.S.-built, U.S.-flagged ship. Oh. Well, who cares? You do, maybe? This kind of protectionism has had all sorts of wild effects. For example, with less competition, US-made ships are generally poorer quality than foreign ships. Plus, they're more expensive, which incentivizes companies to use other methods of transportation and shipping, like semi-trucks, which are generally worse for the environment. In some states like Alaska or Hawaii, it's actually a lot cheaper to import foreign-made goods brought in by foreign-flagged and built ships. So you're telling me something that was meant to protect the U.S. shipping industry actually kinda killed it? Sounds crazy, but yes. And that's not all. Thanks to the Jones Act, if you embark from a U.S. port on a foreign ship, like all of those cruise ships, you can't just go straight to another U.S. city. First, you have to go to another country, which means that the cruise company has to do all this extra paperwork, and the passengers have to have visas for the other country, and the whole process takes more time and more money. Well, this seems really dumb. Let's just skip it all and go home. Prepare to be boarded for violations of the Jones Act. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, check out the links in the description because we bring the receipts and leave a comment below. We'll see you on the next wonderful, exhilarating episode of Common Sense Soapbox. Check it out.